But now to the battle to beat depression, a condition that affects more than a million Australians. A neurosurgeon is bringing new hope to hundreds of thousands who suffer severely. He's adapted a procedure developed for other disorders to help people fight what's known as the black dog. Claire Brady has more. It's not just the stairs, it's the crippling inability just to be quiet or still. I have the vocal tics, that noise there. I have the, the tics in my arms, my neck, my legs. It hurts my throat. Jamie Furlong as Tourette sees him twitch and grunt and he can't make it stop. I'm going to make an, an incision over here. Yep. I'm going to tunnel the wire down there to your chest and we'll pop the battery in there, OK? But this trial breakthrough operation spelt freedom for Jamie. It silenced his unwanted companion, Tourette's, he's had since a boy. Your arm's not twitching. You're not clearing your throat. Your head's not twitching. How does that feel? Bloody beautiful. It's changed my life so much. I mean, I can go to the movies now and not have to be, you know, stared at. I can walk down the street and, yeah, not be looked at. So it's really changed my life for the better. It's called deep brain stimulation, a procedure about 400 Australians turn to each year when they've run out of options. And it seems to be working. About 150 Parkinson sufferers also opt for it to help with symptoms. It's not a cure, but in 80% of cases, it certainly helps. And now it's lifting the curtains from the darkest of lives. Cathy Cleary had tried everything to stop her deep depression. Day after day was just a chore. Um, I felt isolated from my family. I, I didn't want to go out, I didn't want to see anyone. It just, it was just a black, grey, horrible period of my life. In the tunnel of no hope, deep brain stimulation seemed her only light. She stayed awake, as is its practice, for the six-hour surgery and put any chance of future happiness in this neurosurgeon's hands. Dr Richard Bitter is clearing the grey clouds of acute depression with this psychosurgery now available in Victoria. It's banned in New South Wales. So where do you actually go in? So the target point in the brain is very, very small and very deep. You can see these tiny little bright spots there and they're really only about a millimetre and a half in diameter. It works by implanting two fine electrodes into the brain, connecting those wires to a pacemaker-like device, and then those specific parts of the brain are stimulated with electrical currents. The rest of the nation is on board with the psychosurgery, but New South Wales has turned away from its use for deep depression. Dr Bittar believes its lawmakers are trapped in the past, gun-shy due to past unrelated mental health scandals the state endured. Looking at this, Richard, is there anything that you can say that your eye sees that mine doesn't that says this, this patient's got acute depression? No, absolutely so not. So you can't see anything? No, no. So that's a mystery? Exactly. Wow! OK, and then I'll read that one. Kathy Cleary is the poster girl for DBS's use against deep depression, a condition hundreds of thousands of Australians struggle with every day. She can't pinpoint when she plunged into her dark days. All she knows, it's a relief to see an end to them, even if it meant travelling from New South Wales to Victoria for the surgery. I'm not a robot. I'm not sitting there with a smile and fixed on my face. Um, I'm just back to how I used to be before and my kids keep saying to me it's just so lovely to have mum back. And these little people are happy to have Nana back too. Do you love cuddles? Yeah. yeah. And more on Dr Bittar's treatment can be found on our website and of course if you need advice on battling depression you'll also find links for organisations that can help. And still to come on today tonight I'll give